Hello and welcome to the Flurry Analytics Overview video. My name is Brad Jones and I am the Director of Product for Flurry Analytics. The purpose of this video is to highlight the insightful and powerful features available within Flurry Analytics through the basic integration. These features include analyses related to usage, audience, and segmentation. Getting started with Flurry Analytics involves three very easy steps. Number one, click the sign up link at flurry.com. Number two, create a new app and download the SDK. And number three, integrate that SDK into your app with two lines of code. You can find examples of this code as well as other helpful hints related to integrating the Flurry SDK at support.flurry.com. To begin, let's talk about the analyses found within the usage section. The first metrics in this area are new users, active users, and sessions. For each of these, there are options for various levels of detail, such as monthly, weekly, daily, hourly, or even time of day, which shows things from the perspective of the user's device rather than that of the server. As with all the metrics within the usage section, you can filter these by date, app version, or user segment. User segments within Flurry Analytics offer a very powerful way for you to study the behavior of different groups within your app audience. We'll discuss further details about user segments later in this video. Metrics such as session length and frequency of use show you how long and how often your users access your app. For example, on the session length page, you can see a distribution of the amount of time users spend per session, as well as the median over time. For frequency of use, you can review the number of sessions users initiate for each day, week, or month. Anywhere you see a blue B Flurry benchmarks are available. Benchmarks are exclusive to Flurry Analytics and provide the ability to review your app's metrics in the context of other apps in its category or of any other category. The Lifecycle page helps you understand the drop-off in usage, otherwise known as churn, by aligning all of the users of your app to a common day zero, defined by the day that they first opened the app. Then it tracks the usage on a daily, weekly or monthly basis to determine when the users stopped using. User retention shows you the full history of daily, weekly or monthly cohorts of acquired users and how many of each of those cohorts are still active in the app. This metric is calculated each day over the entire history of your app. Again, the blue B indicates that benchmarks are available for this metric, providing a contextual view into your app not available anywhere other than Flurry Analytics. The top versions page allows you to review the uptake of new versions you post to the App Store and how many users are still using old versions. For apps where page views are an important metric, the page views page provides insights into both the absolute number of page views and the number per session that occur within your app. Let's now move on to the audience section and first review metrics related to basic attributes of your audience such as age, gender, location, and language. If your app reports age or gender, great. We can show you the data you report to Flurry on these pages. However, even if you don't collect and report age and gender within your app, Flurry Analytics can help you understand the demographics of your user base. By leveraging the largest demographic panel available within either web or mobile, Flurry Estimates, available only within Flurry Analytics, provide you highly accurate estimates of the age and gender for your user base. On the Geography page, you can understand where people are when using your app, even if you don't provide GPS data. If you are interested in knowing the languages of your user base, the Language page shows you the breakdown and even allows you to drill in to see where a given language is spoken. Now let's take a look at more behavioral metrics, starting with Flurry Personas. Flurry Personas automatically segment your user base in a way that advertisers prefer to target. For example, you can see how many of your users are business travelers because they heavily use apps such as travel reservation apps, expense report apps, and others. Flurry is the only company in the mobile industry that offers the ability to segment your audience by persona. The Interest by Category page shows you what other kinds of apps your consumers also use. For example, the users of this app use apps in the games and social network categories more than others. Benchmarks are again available here, helping you compare your audience to the general app audience. 
The Interest My Apps page is primarily of value to those with portfolios of apps, as it allows you to see the number of users that this app has in common with all of the other apps in the portfolio. The final feature we will cover in this video is segmentation. With just the basic integration I mentioned earlier, you can segment your audience in many different ways, including acquisition date, level of usage, gender, age, language, and geography. When you create a segment, we look across your entire app history to identify the users that fit the definition. Once created, segments can be applied to nearly all of the metrics within Flurry Analytics, providing a very powerful way to focus in on a specific group of users. In this example, I've used a segment to filter active users to only show users that have English as their language. This concludes the review of the topics covered within this video. To recap, we covered the main features of Flurry Analytics available with the basic integration. Those features were 1. Usage Analytics, including the Flurry benchmarks. 2. Audience Metrics, including Flurry Estimates for Age and Gender and Flurry Personas. And 3. Segmentation, allowing you to focus on the metrics for the groups of users that matter most to you. Be sure to view our custom events video to find out how to extend your Flurry Analytics integration to understand at a detailed level how your users interact with your app. I hope you have found this video to be helpful and that you see how two lines of code within your app can provide access to a collection of great features within Flurry Analytics, all for free. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us at support at Have a great day.